a beautiful shoe is an instant transformation. It's always like a theatrical gesture. A woman put the shoes that she wants to be for herself, amuse herself. Secondly, maybe amuse the friends or the husbands or whatever, but shoe is like instant transformation. Yes, I always, did like, I always say the same thing. It's like a theatrical thing. Oh my God, I have a period that I just go crazy for it. 18th century shoes, I go mad for it, yes. Have you ever been to the Carnavalet Musée in Paris? Oh, they have a collection of beauties, total beauties. And it's a miracle, the silk, the proper silk is still in such a wonderful condition. And the beautiful shapes, the lightness of it. And then, um, it was the um, beginning of the 20th century, it was a great man called Jan Turni used to do very much, follow the trend of 18th century shoes. And then in the 50s you had Monsieur um, working for Dior, Monsieur uh, Vivier, Roger Vivier. But Vivier shoes that were very pointy and very uncomfortable. And um, they last for a while, but it was too much another time. And I don't like repeat all the time things. But I love the shoes. I like the 18th century shoes, yes. I always keep repeating myself, but it was very shocking um, to see this um, extraordinary, um, she's quite a lady of a certain age now, it's an actress called Raquel Welsh. So beautiful fit, I mean, so soigné, so well groomed, the proportions like almost like a uh, Phidias or Brexitalis type of, uh, for me. Um, and years ago, they gave me um, some kind of award, American Fashion Council. And suddenly I saw a shoe on top of my table with a friend of mine, Eric Bauman, and it was Raquel Welsh. He said, you love my feet, here we are. On top of the table was a wonderful story. I don't know how to explain it shortly, but, um, but this is wonderful. And she, she said, you love my feet. Yes, I do, madam, yes, yes. <laughs> A bath is like a non-ending love affair. I, just, I was thinking just now that the first time I heard about bath was, of course, Madame Austen, Jane Austen, in nearby where I am. And um, in that, uh, that is the beginning of this kind of um, love affair with bath, since I was a boy. And then I came here by accident in 1981 and I never left. I found his house by, by miracle. The men say, we're not trying to sell. We went to have a look. We came here for the, <laughs> I think it's 81, I'm not sure. Um, the designer of the year, we did the shoes for the designer of the year. We came with Grace Cottington from Vogue. And uh, we walked around in the morning, nothing to do, and we walked around the squares, the crescents, and we walked up and I saw the house that I always loved, imagine in my mind. And um, I went down there, I was the gentleman with a big parrot on the, on the shoulder, and I thought, I like that kind of people. Um, we went there, I said, mm, I'm not sure, we, we put it on the, in, I think it's Andrews, it's like a state agent, we saw it first there, and then we walk and we saw the house, the house was my house, and that's, it was my house. I convinced him, I don't even know how, but um, <laughs> and three weeks later, he called me and said, yes, you're going to have your house. I heard your father was Czech. I love Czech woman. It was like a very eccentric gentleman. And then we talk and, is that what you want to know? <laughs> because I mean, I can go on for days and you never understand. <laughs>